So we're here in event editor mode. So this was event number two, like that. Very good, page up, event three. Event three goes up from the ghost house to the switch palace. Remember, even the ghost house activates event two. That's for the normal exit. For the secret exit, it's event two plus one, so event three, which goes up to the switch palace. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm actually going to remove two trees before the path appears, which is very easy to do. So I'm going to go back to layer two for just a second. And I'm going to make a new tile, which looks like this. So let's find it. It's that one. So I'm on. I'm on event three now. I'm going to take this tile. I'm going to paste it over this tree and over that tree. Now I'm going to go find this one, this one. Then I want, let's see, I want this one. Is that right? Yeah, it looks right. Then I want the ladder. Oops, move that down. And then this one. Sorry. And this one. Okay, so let's press end. Like that. So you can see that I'm going to press home. Tree disappears, tree disappears. Path appears, ladder appears, up to the switch palace. So now I'm on event 04. 04, or rather, event 4 is when you beat the switch palace. There's no new path that appears, so I don't really have to do anything. So I'm going to press page up and go to event 5. Event 5 comes down from this underground level here, so that's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to get this one. We're going to get this one. We're going to use the ladder again. Once, twice, three times. And this is the same one. Like that. And also, we'll put a little circle of land around the pipe. Good. So end, just to make sure it appears the way I want it to. Just like that. Very good. Press page up. We're on event number six, which is from the castle. So from the castle, what I need to do is I need to go back to layer two mode, click somewhere on the overworld, and I'm going to press the page up and page down keys to get to a different palette. And now, when I'm in event editor mode, I have the appropriate uh, colors for all of these tiles. So let's find. Let's find it. Where is it? Where is that's the one I want? Right under my nose. Good. So, and home, and home. Yeah, there's only really one thing there. Okay. So those are all the events that I wanted uh, as far as paths go. So we can page down a bunch of times. So event zero. That's event. Is that event one? Event two. Event three. Event 4 is nothing for the for the moment. Event 5, event 6. So, now what I'm going to do is this. You'll remember that in the game, when you beat a switch palace or a castle or a fortress, the uh, castle or palace or fortress will crumble. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select the switch palace here. And there's a tile, there's a button up here that says destroy level tile settings. So you're going to say event number to destroy this level on, and you're going to choose an event. Now, there's a bunch of them here that are preset already, because you don't actually choose an event, you choose a, a slot, really. So this one doesn't have any of the ones I want. So I'm just going to pick a slot and I'm going to change it, change the above event number to four. 
So when event number four activates, the switch palace will collapse. And you'll see over here, event number four activates when you pass the switch palace, which is which makes sense. One more that we have to do that on is the castle. Now for the castle, you don't select the castle itself, you select the tile above that, the top of the castle. I don't know why that is, it just is. So we'll take the next slot, we'll change this to 6, and we'll say OK. Alright, so let's go back to event editor mode, and let's page down back to the beginning. So event 0 is this, 1 is this, 2 is this, 3 is this, 4 is the palace collapses, 5 is that, 6 is the castle collapses. And that's the end of our events uh, for whatever we want to do. So there we go. And then, of course, you'd open this up in, in your emulator and test it. So actually, let's uh, go ahead and do that. Hello once again. All right, start a new file. It's important you start a new file whenever you make changes to your overworld because some changes don't take effect unless you start a new game. So this is good. So we're going to beat the first level. Wow, that was so difficult. And watch what happens. Very nice. Let's beat the next level. Also very nice. So as you can see, our events are working just the way we wanted them to. Let's go ahead and do this one. So that goes up. Oops, sorry. See the trees disappeared first. Sorry, I'm kind of sporadic here. Let's not save. We'll do the Switch Palace. All two screens of it. Skip through that. So all that happens. And it collapses. And for some reason, the save prompt isn't right away. Actually, I think I know why that is. It'll be covered pretty soon one of the other odd little things that you can play with. So that path is appearing like that. And again, because it's a ghost house, it gives me a save prompt. Mm-hmm. Going down. Through the pipe. Let's beat Iggy again, because we can. Eh. Wow. Why don't you die? Thank you. Alright. So again, there's no uh, boss sequence text, boss sequence text, but we're going to add that in a minute. Okay, so all of our events are working just like we want them to. The castle collapsed, the path appeared, all that stuff. So when we get back, we're going to do the finishing touches to the overworld, and that'll be a wrap.